What's up? Welcome back to another video. We're going to solve the educational code forces round 154. Uh, the second problem that is called uh, two binary strings. Let's see what the problem states. So they are telling that uh, you'll be given two strings that is A and that is B. One is B and both of them are of equal length consisting of only characters, binary characters that is 0 and 1. And both strings start with character 0 and end with character 1. Very important. Both strings start with character 0. And it can have 0, 1, 0, 1 or some 1, 1, 1, something like that and end with character 1. So these end with character 1. Starting 0 is fixed and starting 1 is fixed and both are of the same length and uh, some uh, random binary characters between them. Now they are telling you, you can perform in this operation any number of times. You can perform the following operation. What is that operation? You choose any one of the string. You either choose A or either choose B. After choosing that string, you take two equal characters in it and convert uh, all the characters between them into those characters. What do they mean by that is, suppose they also give the example, right? If the string is like 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, what are the equal characters here? 0, 0 is equal, this 0, 0 is equal, 1, 1 is equal, 1, 1 is equal. For instance, we are taking this one uh, and the first and third character if we take, we have to convert all the characters between first and third to the same characters. So 0 to 0 means every character should be 0, 0, 0 and this one you should write like this only. So triple zero one zero one. So let's take uh, one instance like 2 and 6. So what is the string? 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 1 and 1 is same, right? So everything should be 1 here. 0 you di write directly and every uh, character between them should be same. So 0, triple 1 we got. Now what is the question? You have to determine if it's possible to make the given strings equal by applying this operation any number of times. So for A and B, you take one string, take two characters and make it uh, same. And B also you take something and uh, make it same. After that, after performing it like uh, infinite number of times or zero times, you need to say whether is there any possibility both of the strings will be same or not. So uh, you just have to print yes or no. So how do we do it? Uh, like let's understand this with the help of an example that they given in this question. So they gave two strings here, right? Both are of equal length and both start with character zero and ends with character one. So that's very important. Why I'm telling is in test case also, you can see like many st uh, ca st uh, characters start with zero and uh, it ends with one. In question also, they gave both strings start with character zero and end with character one. Now, what did they do it? Choose the string A and choose two and four here. This is 2, 3, 4 and then after this operation what will string A comes as 0, 1, 1, 1 because 1 and 1 is same the substring will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Is it same? No. Now choose the string B and take 5 and 7. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So what happens? 0, 1, 1, 1. 5 and 7 is, 5 and 7 is 0 and uh, this is 8, right? 8 is this. And uh, between 0 and 0, the string is 1, right? You convert this to 0. Now both of them are same. So we say that uh, this operation is possible. They are not telling that uh, uh, the end string should be outputted. We just have to say that whether it's possible or not. There can be multiple possibilities. Suppose if you can take this 1 and 1, it will be 1, 1, 1 here, right? If you take 1 and 1 here, it will be 1, 1, 1. So any string combination can come, but the operation should remain the same. Now uh, let's go back to the question and understand now. So what did they say? Two strings will be of equal length and uh, two strings should start with zero and end with one. So we can definitely say that for no conditions, no string can come zero and zero. It can't end with zero and zero. If it is zero and zero straight away, we can tell it's no. If we, or any other string that is having one and one at the starting and end, it is definitely not possible. We, we are not possible to make it also. They won't give you in the input also so these conditions are not gonna possible so if uh, 0 1 and 0 1 are the starting and ending what could be the possible substrings in a more generic way so if we are thinking like this it could be the case that 0 0 1 1 1 can come or 0 0 0 0 0 1 can come or 0 0 1 1 I hope you are getting it either some zeros and some number of ones can come so that is the whole idea if you want to match it now what did we think if both of them should be same, if this is 0, 0, triple 1, let's assume that if A is 0, 0, triple 1, some number of zeros, B is also should be 0, 0, 1, 1, right? Z, uh, double 0, triple 1. So since this is already matched, what is our idea is to support uh, this 0, we'll take the starting index as this 0 
an end index of the zero to some other part it can be somewhere here so to make it more clear let's take uh, three zeros here zero and uh, let's sum some random numbers x and this some random number zero and uh, let's take x x one and x x one so this is given and this we assumed something like this now if we want to make all of these numbers to zero we need to definitely make sure that some zero should exist in a and some zero at the same position should exist in b also in this case what happens if you are able to find the start and end index as the same number zero on the left then we can convert all of this to zeros similarly if you are able to find a zero on the bottom we can convert all of them to zeros since we know that definitely left side should always be zero and one right side should always be zero so we assumed that uh, there could be some instance where zero can come and we made all of them zeros now what is for one one can be somewhere here okay so if one is here we can definitely make sure that all ones can come and here also all ones can come and here one zero comes means is that possible it is not possible because if we take all of this to zero and if it is one here i cannot make it as equal right i cannot make this as equal here there is a disparity there are only four zeros and one comes here and there are no ones means i cannot make both of them equal whenever a zero is found the corresponding b position also should be zero and whenever one is coming from right the corresponding one's position also should be same one's position should also be same so what did we derive here zero one zero one so i tell that at some position both of them should be zero it can be any position so that all of them should be zeros and for once i should say that all of them should be ones and in between no other number can come zero or one no mixed number can be one it can be any same number also not uh, that's fine but any other number should not come if it is same number if it is same number one one this is also one one only right if it is same number it is zero zero so what can we say there can be any consecutive numbers if it is if the ith position is zero i can say that the i plus one position can be one for a similarly for the same ith position is zero for b i plus one to position should be one for b if this is possible in question they already told that start and end will be zero uh, zeros and ones so we have to check for a exact point where there is zero and where there is one consecutively if zeros and ones come means we can say that these ones can make it to one and these zeros can make it to zero so uh, we are directly getting the answer so how did we code it is uh, we just take uh, two strings and after getting the two strings we are iterating through the loop if we are able to find uh, 0 and 1 across a and b some string is there are there any middle characters like 0 and 1 then we can definitely say that uh, we'll set the flag and break it to yes so here we already know it's 1 and 0 so this will form as a substring and this will form as a substring so this is the most important uh, thing or else what could be the other methods the more generic method would be to solve the substrings if the substrings are equal then you come back and solve the other form so that's all guys and uh, you can see the solution uh, here if you want to refer and uh, that's it see you in the next video